Hi, this is Mayor Josh Moaning, and I'm here with Fire Chief Tim Roggy and our Fire Marshal Sean Lindgren, and we're here at the main fire station downtown, and today we want to talk about some upcoming events to note uh, Fire Prevention Week coming up here in October, and then this Sunday, uh, that getting kicked off with Public Safety Day. So guys, you want to tell us a little bit about what this is about? This is an annual recognition each year of why it's so important throughout the year to take safety measures uh, in fire prevention and public safety. Absolutely. Uh, yes, so um, as we've talked before, we share with, with kids and families that come through for tours, you know, fire prevention is truly a year-round effort. There's more of an emphasis put on it in October, specifically uh, in the week to approach. Uh, we like to celebrate that with an open house and a public safety day, which we're doing Sunday. Uh, this year's theme is uh, a lot about safe cooking, uh, doing things safely in the kitchen, so we incorporate some of that. Uh, this is a day that we're very proud of. It's a day that's continued to evolve over the years. We have a lot of people doing a lot of hard work. One of our fire lieutenants, Brock Soderberg, puts in a ton of time to kind of lead the charge on the efforts to coordinate things that are going to be done that day. Uh, so we're really, truly looking forward to having people come out. I'd, I'd have our fire marshal maybe talk more about the day itself and what it's going to look like. So. Yeah, so uh, we're excited to have everyone come out. Um, we're going to be at 302 East Benjamin at the fire training facility. Um, and uh, that starts at 1 o'clock. Uh, we'll go till 4 o'clock. We'll have some food out there. We'll have some treats and games for kids. We'll do a uh, fire extinguisher simulator training stuff. Um, we'll announce uh, our coloring contest winner uh, about halfway through it. And then to end up the day, we're going to do some demonstrations with some burn rooms to uh, demonstrate how... Uh, smoke alarms work and how fire sprinkler systems work um, and the differences between sprinkler and non-sprinkler areas so we'll uh, we'll do that so we're excited to see everybody one of the things i really like about this is you guys really try to engage youth in this right so Absolutely. talk a little bit about how you do that and go into area schools and encouraging youth to get involved absolutely so a couple times a year you really see an uptick in, in community relations and that's during the month of october and, and towards the end of the school years uh, and may you see that. We love it. Uh, we have lots of uh, schools that travel from outside of Norfolk that come to Norfolk and tour the dispatch center, the police station, and then come over here and spend time at the fire station. In October specifically, uh, we get out into the schools and then we ask schools, child cares to come into the fire station, talk to them a lot about stop, drop, and roll, fire escape plans, making sure your batteries are changing in your smoke detectors. And it makes a huge impact. You're hearing stories all the time of children that are going home and asking their parents to go through things with them. And maybe parents hadn't thought about it or forgot to change batteries. So getting these kids engaged at a very young age and making them or helping them understand is it pays huge dividends for us. So. Yeah, anytime we can have the opportunity to get in front of them and, and give them a message uh, that might uh, resonate with at least one of them. And if that makes a difference in, in one family's life, then that's worth it. So that's really, yeah. 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 And that's the work that goes on behind the scenes that people don't always uh, see. I mean, they see you out and about when you're yep. out on calls and uh, our community certainly appreciates the excellence, the tradition of excellence that the entire fire department has enculturated. Uh, but that excellence comes about because that day-to-day -day work that goes into education too and youth engagement. So um, we're proud of you guys. We're glad, of, we're glad for the uh, extra efforts you take to make the community safe. Well, we appreciate it.